Mac and Jack's Brewery, founded in 1993 by Malcolm Rankin and Jack Schropp. Started in Jack's garage, making 200 kegs a month. Decided to take it to the next level. We're moved to this current facility where we've been since 1997. We're currently at a capacity of about 50,000 barrels of beer. We're the third largest craft brewery in Washington state and we're making all kinds of ales. We've got a number of different IPAs, our flagship ale, which is our African Amber. We do quarters and stouts. We're lucky, I believe, to live in, you know, a region where craft beer is available everywhere. So we're constantly evaluating best practices. With our philosophy about making beer, we don't want to put anything into our beer that doesn't belong there. So using an inert gas to, to push our beer fits into that nicely. When it came time for us to increase our nitrogen production, Atlas Copco was the logical choice. The MGM made sense here because for purity control, Mac and Jacks was targeting 95% nitrogen. This system is designed to do that all the time and we meet that or exceed that. Besides the purity level, it also takes up minimal floor space because it's a very plug and play kind of a system. You don't have a lot of other components you need to add to go with it. The primary objective of switching to nitrogen was cost savings. We're using two thirds less CO2 to push our beer than we were using before. Uh, an added benefit is uh, we can now run all of our pneumatics uh, on nitrogen. One of the advantages we didn't expect was no loss. We use all of the nitrogen that we produce. There's no loss, there's no waste. Our mission is simple and fixed. Make beer people love, make it the right way, not the easy way. And this nitrogen generator from Atlas Copco is now a big part of that.